Howdy everybody, Cub here. Today we're looking at a quick tutorial on how to build my set it and forget it cocoa bean farm. This cocoa bean farm allows you to simply plant down cocoa beans and then everything else is done automatically for you including uh, breaking of the cocoa beans and collection of the cocoa beans and it actually places some cocoa beans in the chest for you uh, right here in this case. So yeah, that is how the farm works. So yeah, if I just plant this down, the farm is now running and yeah, you'll see some of these cocoa beans starting to grow up here over the course of time. And then once this cocoa bean right here grows up to the third stage, it breaks all the cocoa beans, collects them all, and deposits them right in this chest for your convenience. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and build this, and I'll show you how it works. Alright, so let's start on this cocoa bean farm. So we're going to start over here. We're going to go up from our floor, which is going to be this grass here. We're going to go up one, two, three, and on the fourth one we're going to have a normal piston uh, facing outward. Then we're going to have our jungle logs right here. We're going to have 12 jungle logs per row. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we need a gap here of one block, and we need a normal piston facing this direction back toward uh, the other side. So something like this. Uh, now. This is this jungle log uh, row here is going to be where you plant your uh, cocoa beans on the side. Uh, and now we're going to need to make more rows. So you can add pretty much however many rows you want here. Uh, I'm going to add, I think, five rows. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve right here. And then we need two blocks and then a normal piston like that with a gap of one block right here. And then we just do this a couple times or however many times you want to for your farm. And I'll be back once I'm done doing this. So at this point, your cocoa bean farm should look more or less like this. You could have more jungle log strips or less, depending on how big you want your farm to be. But in general, it's look something like this. Now we're going to go into the redstone part of this project, uh, the most intense redstone part of this project. Uh, it's not too bad, but it does get a little bit complicated, so just follow along. Uh, so next to your first piston near the front of your farm, you want a observer facing out so that it observes this block right here. Uh, so this is going to be the cocoa bean block that determines when the farm is harvested. So make sure you have that correct. Then you want that observer to go into a block. We're going to have a dropper here facing up. And then we need another dropper right above that facing downward. Now in the bottom dropper, you want to place three items. Doesn't matter what they are. So just three items like this uh, into your bottommost dropper. Then we're going to need an observer facing upward with a comparator on top like that. And you see the comparator turns on because there's three items inside the dropper. Uh, and then we'll have a block here with a redstone dust underneath. Uh, this will be important later on for the collection system. Now we want to have this comparator go into a block. We'll have a torch on top of that. Block on top of the torch right here. And then just draw this. Uh, over like so. So we'll have a block here and a block here. And we need a repeater here, a repeater on top of the dropper, and then a repeater on full delay here. And then finally we need a note block here. Uh, and you can also put like your wall block underneath here. And um, that just helps to prevent, like whenever these uh, cocoa beans break, it prevents that cocoa bean from flying into this open slot right there. Uh, nice. So yeah, that's that first part done. So at this point, we need two things. Number one, whenever this dropper is empty, i.e. the stone bricks are in this topmost dropper, uh, this will all be active, and we need that activation to also activate this piston, pushing these jungle logs and breaking the cocoa beans. The second thing we need is we need the uh, stone bricks, which will be up top in this dropper. We need those to return to the bottom dropper to reset the entire system. So that's what we're going to do right now. And the way we're going to do that is through observers. So we need an observer here uh, facing out of the note block then we need the observer to feed down into the piston so that'll fire our piston whenever the uh, dropper down here is empty now we need to get the dropper uh, reset so we need to return the items down to the bottommost dropper to do that we're going to have an observer facing out here with a block right there then we're going to go underneath the piston and detect the piston activation itself like this we'll have another observer out here note block here Observer up top here, with another note block at this point. Then we just need a observer facing out this way, and another block right here, and that should be good. 
We're nearly done with the redstone now. All we need to do is simply make our way over to the opposite side from the redstone bit over there. And we need to place down a leaf block right here so that it's not touching the wood. Then we need an observer here. This observer will detect when this leaf contacts the wood, so when the wood is pushed over. And we need this piston to then return the logs to their current state. So all we need is simply a block here and then a block down here with some dust on it. And that should be good. So we can actually test out our system now. Uh, so we'll just do our cocoa beans right here. We'll also get out some bone meal so we can grow these things up. So let's just test and make sure this works. So if I place a cocoa bean down, you'll see one of the stone bricks is now actually inside of this dropper right here. Fantastic. Uh, so let's just grow it up here. Two. There we go. And another stone brick went up. And then on the third one, we should see this whole thing activate. And basically what's going to happen is this is going to pulse out. It's going to pulse back real quick. And then it's also going to return all the stone bricks down to the bottom most uh, dropper. So let's just see it. There we go. See it right there. It pulsed twice. We got our stone bricks back. And yeah, the entire thing is reset. And yeah, our, our cocoa beans dropped on the ground, which is exactly what we wanted to see. Fantastic. So with that now done... Uh, we only have one thing left to do in terms of the top redstone, and that is just connect up all the other segments of this farm. So only the first segment is actually active right now, but to connect the other segments, all we got to do is just simply place down two observers facing into the next piston like so. There we go. And then we can do the same thing on this opposite side. So just two observers like this, all the way down like this. And you could also just use this same system here, if you're short on observers, you could use this same system for all these pistons, but I feel it's just simpler to go with uh, the observers, and also it looks good aesthetically uh, from both sides. So, yeah, that works right there. So, yeah, this top system is now complete. Now all we need to worry about is the collection system on the bottom. So the next thing we need to do is make the automatic collection system, which I'm going to use rails and hopper minecarts for, but you can use whatever method you want. So let's go ahead and do this. So I want to put down a chest, let's say here, that is going to collect all of my items uh, into. So this is going to be where all my cocoa beans end up here. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to dig out a big area underneath of where our cocoa beans are going to drop. So namely like from here all the way to roughly here and then all the way back this way. This is the whole area where our cocoa beans could potentially drop. Uh, so I'm actually going to go out one more block here just to be safe. So this whole area right here and then probably down like this. This is where our cocoa beans could reasonably drop. So we're going to dig out this entire area down two blocks. Alright, so we dug out the area here above where our cocoa beans could potentially fall. And we also dug out a little area here where we're going to put our hopper minecart and our minecart system so let's go ahead and make that system right now actually so we're going to go ahead and uh, do something like this so we'll have droppers facing upward three of them into the chest here uh, and i'm actually going to dig out a little bit more space because we might need it here uh, so then what we need is we need a comparator facing out of this bottom most dropper here we'll need a hopper facing in here we're going to have a repeater facing into this hopper and then we're going to need a uh, redstone dust here, redstone dust here, block here, and then we need a torch right there. So now anything that goes into this dropper like this, you'll see it's a silent dropper elevator and everything is coming up here uh, slowly from this hopper. So that's exactly what we want to see right there. Fantastic. That'll continue to filter up until it gets to the last one. There we go. Okay, so that part is now done. All right, so next thing we need is we need a block in the back here because that's what our hopper minecart is going to be pressed up against and that will cause it to launch out in this direction uh, whenever we power this rail. Speaking of powering this rail, uh, we need to actually do that as well. So we're going to place a block here and then we're going to dig a trench all the way over to this redstone dust right here. And this redstone dust is going to have a repeater here. And it's going to go into a block, which will then come down. And this will actually be what powers our rail right here. So whenever the farm activates now, 
the cart that sits here will be launched, which is exactly what we want to see. Fantastic. So now that that is done, uh, we can just grab a normal rail here. And then what we need to do is we need to basically create a zigzag pattern of rails. So what I mean by zigzag pattern is once you get to this point here and you start going like this, you just want to create a system where it's like this and then it zigzags back like this. All these can be powered rails here till the end, then normal rails, then powered rails like this, then of course normal rails, powered rails, all the way to here, normal rails, and just continue to do this until you get all the way to the end. So we made it here to the final rail line, so we're just going to place down two regular rails and then powered rails all the way down here, and this time instead of regular rails at the end, we'll just place a powered rail, so that when this is powered, the cart will just simply come in here, bounce off, and then go all the way back to the front to drop off the items it has collected. Uh, so now once you have this, all you got to do is go underneath here and power on uh, with a lever or you could also use like a redstone block. You want to power on all of these rails like that. So you see that hits all of them. And then, yeah, just do the same for all of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and place down a bunch of levers here like this. And this should power all of the powered rails on permanently. So just like this. This one. And I already got a couple here it looks like so that should be good so let's make our way back here looks like all the powered rails are powered fantastic uh, so then we can just cover everything here back up make sure our rail lines good here yep and we can just start to fill in all these blocks back here uh, we can fill in all this fill in all this fill this in and we can also place down our hopper minecart so let's grab one here so we'll place this down right here just cover all this up like so and then all we need here is to actually test out the farm and we should be good to go so just one more minor change before I actually plant down some cocoa beans here we actually need to change this repeater here which goes on the line to our minecarts to four ticks of delay and I'm also going to put down another repeater here on four ticks of delay uh, just so that we can do that and not have anything sticking out here so yeah just be sure and do that but now let's go ahead and plant down our cocoa beans so we're going to go into game mode survival like this we're going to plant our cocoa beans from the back to the front and we should be planting 120 of these guys down here so it should work out pretty well so there we go and we're doing it back to front because uh we want the cocoa beans in the back to grow up first before the one that we are measuring against basically as sort of the average cocoa bean so we'll just go ahead and run through here plant down all of these and you can plant these on both sides like so there we go and then the final row here run along this way and then we want the final one to be the one right in front of the observer here. So we'll plant this down and there we go. So you see we have no cocoa beans in here. Uh, also, I'm going to, let's just quickly go back to creative game mode. Uh, let's just go like this then, I guess. There we go. Perfect. And we can go ahead and fill in like walls here now to keep everything in so that nothing goes beyond uh, where our collection area is. So we're just going to fill in a wall here. We can come over here fill in a wall like this as well on this side and then we can also fill on the top so like right above these cocoa beans we can fill this whole area up like this so that'll help to just contain the cocoa beans a little bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and we'll wait for this whole farm to harvest Hey, okay, there we go. So, yeah, you saw it right there. Cocoa bean grew up, and yeah, the cart, you can hear it, has now launched. You can see it picking up all the cocoa beans here. And you can see all of the jungle logs return to their previous state after being moved over here. Cart continues to go along, pick stuff up. And once it gets down here, it'll bounce all the way back. And then it should make its way over to this chest here and start dispensing some cocoa beans. Now we had 120 cocoa beans uh, when we 
uh, planted these all down. So we planted 120 of them. Let's see how many we get back. So guys, from just one planting of this farm, and then we left it to its own devices, we ended up with a total of 310 cocoa beans. And we started out with 120, which means we netted 190 cocoa beans from just planting down uh, these cocoa beans in this farm. And that's it. Then we just leave the area, or just AFK, and yeah, we come back, and there's more cocoa beans in the chest. So now we can take these cocoa beans, replant them again, and yeah, just continue the process like that indefinitely. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful in some way. And yeah, hopefully this will help you in your own Minecraft worlds. Anyways, for now, that'll be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye. Thank you.